All right. All right. Once again, let's start over. Hello, guys. My name is Shumsky, and this is the HP2 speedrun oh, tutorial for 100% for this game for Harry Potter 2. And I'm gonna quickly explain first of all the setup, then all the splits in Life Split, and. I'm gonna explain exactly how to set up everything and then actually do the route itself. So, <clears throat> once again, starting all over. Here, in this very chapter. First thing first, you need obviously a few programs, and one of them is Life Split. Obviously, that's your that's for the run. And uh, in Life Split, if you edit the splits, you can actually choose the game you want to run in um here in settings uh here you can choose the game that you want to run and this will allow you to get the load list time for this auto splitting and load remover uh, load removal are available uh i do not i don't really recommend auto splitting because it splits on every map change and that's a lot of splits is pointless but load removal is quite good and these are all my splits and they're about 19 and I'm gonna go through every single one of them in uh, the actual tutorial so that's Willow get to classwork to send Quidditch etc etc okay anyway um so second thing important so you have your HP2 now right now. I uh, I use one that Max uh Max G1054 provides, which is another speedrunner uh, as well. And uh what's very important is first of to set up the game. So you go to so in this little <coughs> shortcut here, you go to properties when you have the shortcut obviously. You go to detail, no, no, sorry, general, no, uh, shortcut. And you want a shortcut key to be pressed, to be put on like F1 or F2 or anything. I think F1 is the best. Um, why do you want that? Is because the game can be opened while the game is still running. So you can open the game again while the game is running. So that's actually very important. And I'll explain why in a bit. And then obviously you want this to be windowed. So in target, where this is this is the uh, the path for your game exe. You press at the very end. So you press space and type in dash window. So it starts the game in windowed mode. And then you go to your documents. Harry Potter 2, game, game A and I, you can open that with a notepad. And then you scroll, and uh, actually you want to set the resolution from here. So you basically, what you do actually, once you start up the game here, you set the, the resolution to 640, 640 by 480. But right in here, you want to set the resolution to, um, wait, give me, right here, window, window, Win DRV Windows client to 640 by 514 because this will allow you to actually again this is part of uh, one of the glitches in the game and uh, this will be able for you to see what's happening behind the main menu so what's happening inside the game while you're in the main menu like open it like just allows you to have like a very little uh, part of of the game actually still be invisible while in the main menu. Uh, so you set that this to this uh, and if you want to practice obviously you go all the way down here it's all the way down you go to H game base console B debug mode equals true if you don't want it that's how if you don't want if you're just running that has to be set on false and uh, this pretty much is it's the setup that's your game will look something like this um right 
Also, very important. Uh, wait, give me an options video is to have this a direct 3D render. And uh, then obviously you can you can limit the FPS to 120 FPS if you can keep constant 120 FPS. Hello, miracle of child. By the way, uh, you can and uh, when once you start a new game, go start a new game. I'm gonna tell you what I want. See, if uh, our resolution here was at 640 by 480, this little black bar here, it wouldn't be visible. And that's actually what's happening behind the main menu in-game. And what you want to do here is actually set this to 16-bit. Um, and then what you want to do again is go to input menu, have double inputs for everything. So for forward, you need to have double inputs because you're gonna press them. For backwards, you need to have double inputs. For uh, jump, you can do whatever you want really. I use both space and right mouse. Yes, it will be on YouTube Miracle. And then obviously for drink potion, I have tea. Because I don't know why the fuck I have tea, but whatever. Uh, and then you have strafe left, double inputs. For me, that's A and Q. Strafe right, that double inputs, D and F. And you need double inputs because the game uh, actually you can run in a little bit faster when you actually press two keys at the same time. Yeah. So and skip cutscene for me is enter or shift, and you press. I pretty much press shift through through the entire run. Like I keep I keep holding shift through the entire run. Uh, because it just allows me to instantly skip cutscenes. By the way, you have you must have auto center camera off and auto drink point potion on. Well, that's if you really want to. And uh, mouse speed can be really anything; it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, and yeah, that's that for now. Now let's go to the second scene where my actual game is. Now, and we're gonna start explaining the splits one by one. Um, and how this route is done. So, all right, so now we are on Willow, right? Uh, ignore the timer, it doesn't matter. And uh, wait, there should be a way to pause the timer. Give me a sec. Uh, pause. Yeah, so we pause the timer, and now I'm gonna explain all the splits one after another. So now we are on Willow, which is the pink split, and Willow is the. I'm gonna explain the entire level. I'm gonna tell you how I do it. There's obviously a bit more optimal ways, in my opinion, to do the do the game, but this is how the route is done through and through. So, without further ado, let's go. You need to start pressing shift at this very moment, you resume game, and at the time you start pressing shift, you actually start your cutscene. Uh, you start your uh, timer, sorry. Here it's pretty straightforward. You just uh, go like this, jump over this. Uh, it's nothing too crazy. You hit that. And now where the fun part starts. From very from this from this here. So you go onto this ledge, you ledge grab and you pause. And you pause for one thing, because now I'm gonna explain what brightness boosting does. And obviously if you want to run hundred percent of this game, you pretty much probably know what the fuck brightness boosting is anyway. But for someone that doesn't know, I'm gonna explain it real quick. So, brightness boosting is a weird glitch. Basically, if you are on a ledge, like, like right here, for instance, if you grab the ledge, or like any ledge really, like if you grab it, a, if you grab a ledge like this, and you pause, and you go to the brightness menu, and you hit the the brightness slider once, then pause and pause, 
One more. You you see, I'm, I'm starting to boost over a little bit. Now, this is all cool, and this was the old way of brightness boosting. And for some reason, the game works th th this way that when you're when you hit the brightness while you're on your ledge, when you hit the brightness slider, uh, Harry goes a little bit up. But there is a better way of brightness boosting, and I'm gonna explain it real quick. And that's why you set up a short on in your shortcut. You set up the F1 key as uh, the way to open your game once again. So you go here. You are on your ledge, you pause the game, you go to brightness, and now I hit F1, which will allow me to open the game. And I'm, and I'm gonna quickly show this while I'm in game what, what exactly it should look like. So I press F1 and the game reloads again. Here, I'm on the ledge, press this, uh, go to the brightness menu, I press F1. And now my game is unpaused, so I start hitting the brightness slider, and look what happens. Basically, when I press F1, the game loads again, and my game unpauses while I'm still in the menu. Like, right here. The game is actually unpaused, and you can see, and that's why we left this little bit here. To be able to see how much we are, we are actually boosting up, pretty much. Because if, that, if the resolution was at 640 by 480 then the menu would actually take up the entire screen and you won't be able to see what the fuck is happening. So yeah, anyway, uh, this trick, once again. So that's your very first trick in Willow. You go out of bounds, so you skip pretty much that entire section of the level and you skip a lot of fucking bullshit, anyway. So you go over here, go like this, your brightness boost. You go out of bounds here, and this this is where your first secret is. You don't have to actually enter the secret to reveal it and to get the sound. So all you have to do is just go like this, get the secret, Alahamora, that shit. Just have to be like kind of like around here, in the kind of in the middle. Do this. Alahamora the secret, it, you'll have to skip a, skip a cutscene. And then you go over here to be able to get the next secret, which is here. Anyway, screw that. And you can clip on this, on this bit here. Well, not really like that. You can, you can clip like that if you'd like, but... You can clip like this as well. I can't really explain how I do that, but basically what I do is I'm like kind of like at this angle. There is a faster way, but I don't I don't know how to do it anyway. So I go like at this angle, I double in, I press forwards both both the both keys for forward. And I start well I don't fucking get it now, do I? Fuck's sake. So I'm like kind of like here, and I like ex basically somewhere around here. I start jumping and I jump tech, which basically means that while jumping, I I'm pressing the uh, use want key. It allows me to have a little bit of a longer jump. And yeah, pretty much that's it. I'm on the top of this ledge, and I go over here. Uh, I think that a, m a bit more optimal route for that would be probably just like like this. Hit this one. You don't have to enter it. You actually reveal the secret. Get this gold. Get this bronze card. And that's your split. The next split is get to class. So basically, what you do. Is you go over here and then you press then you then while you are in the cutscene you start pressing double inputs Jesus Christ give me a sec okay. now 
the my windows are not fucking up all the time. You start pressing double inputs like this. Start pressing double into the uh, double strafe inputs for the right, and you jump, and you're like down here, and you pretty much go from here on out. Pretty straightforward. Go like this, and you have to hit while you go up here. You have to hit this uh, armor. So you hit the armor because you need beans, and I'll tell you why do you need beans. Then you obviously go to the Gryffindor common room. Nothing is pretty straightforward right here. You skip cutscenes and shit. Uh, you don't get stuck, most like most of the time. You just go your normal way, like you would just get to Rick to Sempra the usual way. And... This is the second... Oh, oops, sorry. Right, this is where you're gonna boost once again. You're gonna get a... You're gonna ledge grab here, when you run up here, and just ledge grab here, and you try to boost up there. Right? Where Ron is. So I'm gonna show this real quick. Go like this. At... You boost up. You get over here. That skips the cutscene with Nick. And that's your get to class. Next split is Rick to Sempra. You don't do the spell learning. And concentrate. Like, absolutely don't do the spell learning. It's going to move its way. Like, for real. That's forbidden. First of all, you're probably gonna get fake inputs anyway there, so... That's one thing that's gonna fuck you over. And second, because... Second, because pointless. Because uh, you don't want to have a, a long bean bonus. Room. Bean bonus room is an RNG if you don't get any stars or you don't do the spell learning. The very first bean bonus room. Give me a second. Alright, there we go. So the bean bonus room uh, that is gonna come after this challenge is an RNG based, but you wanna get, you wanna make sure that you are allowed to get the RNG, the low RNG to spend not that much time there. So you don't do spell learning. Anyway, kind of irrelevant, I'm not very good at explaining why you don't do spell learning. Just remember this, you don't do spell learning. End of story. Very close. Once again. Once he said once again, you again, you, as I said, you you pray, you keep pressing the skip cutscene button all the time. Anyway, now that's how Rick to Semper is done. You do this, as allows it to kind of jump a little bit faster, and you hit this guy, and then there is. There is um, a card here, so you get that card. You try to get cards faster, I'm gonna tell you how. I'm gonna show you how to get cards faster. Then this is the route for this room. Right, you hit that. 
You hit this. You hit this. Then you go and hit this. Of course, you need to kind of learn it fast. I, I usually just hit this one more time. You close that one. Come back here. Alright. And this will allow you to reveal the second card in this level. Which is this one. You pick up the card. And you proceed forward. And here comes one of the secrets in this game. So, this is the secret. Enter exit to get the sound. This is There is a card here. And then here is this room. I'm not gonna exactly explain spell tech, so I'm not even gonna do it right now, but... But basically you try to put these two guys in their proper place. You skip the cutscene here as well. You try not to pick up the star. And... Let me just quickly kill these two guys for a bit. For... Real fast. You have to get up here. But to get up here, you can just do this. Yeah. You have to do it under an angle. Well, not like this. Sorry. Like, under like that angle. Fuck. Like, an angle. Fuck, man! Basically, this is the angle. Never mind. Give me a sec. <laughs> I'm fucking it up. Alright, you come up with an angle like this. And you should be able to actually get it. Yep, here. You go, the brightness boost once, twice. For convenience. You go here. Hit the Lumos. Reveal the secret here. Jump. A second. And then, while you jump over there to hit that flipendo, you hit this flipendo as well, just to do a few things at the same time. I didn't really get it well, very well, well, but whatever. You hit both flipendos. There is a card and a secret here. Yeah, that's how you quickly pick up the cards. You can just wait. Then there is another card here. And then you enter Lockhart's room. Lockhart's room. The sequence is this, this, this. This, this, so this and this again, and again this. And this opens the thing. You go up, you want if you want you can get the save book. If you don't, you don't get the save book. I usually kind of just get the save book. And here is one of the secrets. That Lumos statue here is for a secret that's over here, but you can actually enter the secret. Ah, no wait, you can't. Sorry, I'm retarded. Uh, well, while, while, you, while you're in the run, you can actually enter the secret uh, just as it is. But basically, that's one of the secrets. Oh. And then there is another secret here. Enter exit. And here is a hard part. You, which you can, you have, you want to boost up there. You can do it either by a lo very long jump and then a ledge grab, boost, boost, boost. Or you can do it with a bit of an easier, a bit of an easier way. Just go here, boost, 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 boost. I'm gonna show you the way I do it most of the times, so unless I fail it. So, somewhere here in midair, I pause. I go to brightness, I press F1, and I start boosting like fuck, like three times. I think three times is enough. There, I'm up. I go over, I go this way. There is a card here.
One more, really? Never mind. Okay, you deal with these fuckers. Then, what you do is you open this chest. You go here. You quickly cast flip end on this. Quick cast flip end on this. Go back to pick up your card. Get the secret and the card. There is a card. Sorry, I kind of just didn't show that there was one. Take the save book or don't matter. And then you have to put both this and this head, this uh, crab into the pit here. So you can uh, unlock this this secret here. You get over here. This is a secret. Bam, bam, and this is a card. And now comes a tougher part. So there is a setup to not go all the way like this and have to like put two more crabs in the pit to actually lower the star which is up there. What you do is you do a brightness boost as per usual. And so you stand up like kind of like here and you jump and you extend the jump no, that was a bad. That was that was that was bad. Thank fuck, I didn't actually go. So yeah, basically you stand like here, you extend the boost like here, and somewhere around here, like when you're like that, you try to get a, like a long ledge grab. You go into the boost menu, uh, into into the brightness menu, boost menu, <laughs> to the brightness menu. You hit F1. You hit brightness once with the mouse, and then you spam as much as you can you spam your left and right until you get uh i'm gonna show you where you're supposed to get until you get uh on to the very very top of the map itself and then you press the f then you unpause and you press the forward key so okay f1 well i didn't get it anyway uh, i didn't get it I'm supposed to do it like that but whatever Basically, you need to get all the way up there. Oh, sorry. Man, when I'm explaining this shit, this is harder to actually do than if I wasn't explaining it. Go like this. Anyway, basically you're supposed to like kind of like get up here and then you press forward to get up actually to, to this part here. You get over here, and then you jump all the way to this star, and that's your level done. Okay. Skip the cutscenes. Skip the cutscene here. Hit this armor, and hit this armor as well, both armors. And then you go into bean bonus room. And you try to collect as many beans as you can, obviously. So I got pretty fast RNG, unfortunately. But you try to collect as many beans as possible. Because you need 1200 beans at the end of the game. Uh, to be able to... Actually... Uh, buy the equipment from Fred and George, which from these two guys. Now you can press this, you can actually hit this chest if you want, just to make sure you're gonna get... This is for the future, but the route here is you press this, then you then you press this, to, en to enter this secret, get the card here as well. Okay. And then obviously you do the auto sc auto scroller part, which is Quidditch. All right, then. You can and you split there. Right up and, down. and this is gonna take a really long time to get through everything. The route is very long, honestly. That's it, Harry. You've almost got it. Oh, 
automatically close in on the snitch. Quidditch armor will help soften blows during the match. You wait for her to fuck it to, to start hitting the bitch. Somewhere around here, yeah, somewhere around here is good to start hitting Remember how you not put your hand out till the enemy seeker is out of the way. And when the cutscene starts you split, obviously, and get your next uh, split, which is potions. At potions, you hit this thing one last time. Go like this. This leads to the dungeons. And that's the route to it, to the potions. Nothing too crazy. I just have a split for it because I don't know. Because it's cool, I guess. And here it's very important to not soft block. So you go like this, you pick up your ingredients for the potion. And you wait for for Snape to start talking, so, and then you go to the actual cauldron, otherwise you soft block. And then you split after that, when the loading starts. And then you go to Scourge, nothing too crazy. And uh, oops, try not to get stuck as, as I said. Pretty straightforward here too. You can either get on that platform or not. But it's very important to hit this box, this box, when you go to skirt and enter this secret. There. Done. And here you do the arrows. Try not to focus on all this chamber of secrets, Balderdash. Concentrate on the symbol in front of you. The wand is about to move its way around the symbol. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, you'll need to hit the corresponding arrow. So I'm gonna quickly do the arrows. I'm sorry. Size has three levels. In each level, you, you can skip that when I put this on YouTube. Arrows in sequence. Skip the part where I do the arrows, obviously. Round one, go. Bank, 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 bank. Boom, boom, boom. Well done, Harry. Well done, you Harry. You advanced to the next level, level of the lesson. lesson. Five points, points for Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Round two. Round to go. go. You do arrows again. And you pray that you don't get fucking fake inputs. Or you don't do arrows. It's up to you. You're gonna lose about 16 seconds. Whatever. <clears throat> well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next level of the lesson. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three. Go. Completed all of the necessary exercises. Fifth and now the actual challenge starts. So here you go, you scourge that obviously. Go like this, 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 this. You hit this one twice. Then you open this secret. There is a card here. Can't show. Yes, there is a bronze card here. And then you go here, you get this sledge grab, and you brightness boost. You brightness boost a lot, like five, six times. And then you just press for you just you press forward and jump at the same time. And you turn around. You press forward and left at the same time, and you turn around to actually jump over there. Well that saves a lot of time instead of going Getting the secrets, going all the way up there, hitting these two fuckers, uh, like 
ex like extended boosting yourself with over this and stuff like that. So yeah, you're like at this angle. Bam. You just press forward and jump, and then uh, kind of just press left in midair and uh, turn your mouse. Turn, turn, start turning hard like this. Just like an arc, arch. Hit that when you're actually going over here because it's, it's better. And you hit this, obviously. Nothing too crazy over here. And now it's Peeves, you have to fight Peeves. You pray that this Peeves is good. Uh, you hit you Alahamore, the fucking dragon here. You enter and exit this secret. This secret. Go over here. And this. And then you flip and uh Lumos like that. So you get over here, so you can go down stairs. Obviously you hit that again. This is your next card as well. Then you hit Lumos here again while well, you go and um, hit the chest. Enter, exit the secret with the Lumos. Take the card. Pretty straightforward, honestly. Hit the scourge here. Uh, deal with the fucking snail. You need to get him over there. Get the secret and the card. There is a card here. It's a silver card. Okay. Then you scourge this. Jump, jump. Scourge, jump, jump. And this opens everything. Go over here. Do all of them are this secret. Scourge, fall down. It's depend on that. Go back over here. Get the secret. Get the cart. Quickly brightness boost over here, just so you don't have to go through all the fucking ledge grabbing and climbing and shit animations. Boom. Boom. Scourge this, and you can either go like this, like, and just go all around to actually go into that room over there, or there is another way, but you need to get the, ro the right ledge grab. Not this. This ledge grab is a small one. Fuck. It's good practice. Alright, never mind. Man, I suck at this ledge grab. Yeah, this ledge grab. You get this very long, this kind of a longer ledge grab, and then you boost again. You bo you. What you do is you boost through this little opening over here. Deal with these fuckers. Open the chest. Hit this once. Hit this twice. You see the card here? You're gonna get a uh, a hedge or whatever the fuck it was called. I remember. So basically there's gonna be an extended animation and you'll get one more bar of health. You you can cancel this by you hit this the third time and you skip the hug. See? You cutscene skip. When you cutscene skip Because there is a cutscene uh, when you put this down here. And you pick up the card at the same time. Uh that extended animation for the or from the card actually gets cancelled completely. You hit Lumos here. You Alohomora here. 
Oh wow. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Trying to get close to, to this. Uh, this is your last secret. And that's Scourge. Now let's go Bicorn. Bicorn, pretty straightforward. But it's tough as shit. So you pick up all the beans. Uh, hate your life that some of the beans are over there. <coughs> Skip cutscenes like fucking retarded. All over the place. And proceed further down this hallway. Hit this. You do hit this chest. Straight forward, straight forward, straight forward. This, hit this. Hit the Lumos. Actually hit the Lumos. There's a small cutscene. Obviously go the, the normal way, like right here. If you want to kill the pixie, the doxy, kill it. Nobody cares. Scourge this, fall down. Bank. Get this, I'll have more of this, I'll have more of that. There is a secret and a card. You get the card here too. You get a card here and a card here. Boom boom. You dispatch of the of these motherfuckers as quickly as possible, obviously. This is something you have to do as quickly as possible, obviously, otherwise if you get like you start losing time here, it's normal. So not not always it goes with that plan. Just try to dispatch of these motherfuckers as much as, as, much as possible. I'm kind of just taking my time here. That's her. And then you drop down like here. Bam! Bam! Quick to send for both. Unlock this chest because there is a card here. Depend on these motherfuckers real quick. I strongly advise to learn spell spell tech, so you cancel the animation. Take the card. Start unlocking this secret this secret. Scourge this. Fuck this no. Get your card and the secret. Take the safe book just in case because you're pussy and I'm pussy too. And what you can do is you can hit either hit that and then drop there. Or you can wall walk, hit that first. And wall walk here. So what you do is you like stay right here, double inputs forward, and while you're like going down, you press uh you're still holding double inputs forward, you hold one or right. So kind of well not like this really, but I'm gonna quickly show it off. It's uh doesn't really work that well when it's oh so yeah. I for some reason can't get it now, that's great. Sick as fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. I am not supposed to be here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. There we go. That's where we are. Bank. Basically like this. You get this secret. Real quick. Yeah. And then you go like over here, jump, and as soon as you see the flipendo spell symbol, uh, release your mouse button. So, like. Like right here. Bang. 
you do the same for this. But here you have to press to keep like as soon as your spell starts going up, you start pressing backwards, like kind of like at this angle, so you don't get fucked by this shit over here. So you gotta just stand here, wait for the fucking symbol to appear, bang, you get this, sec this secret here, you get this secret here, oops. And then you flipendo this and you unlock this chest to get the card. You don't have to flipendo this, I just kinda do it. And then comes wheel skip. I'm gonna kind of explain how you do this shit. So here you press forward at kind of like this ankle and you jump. Like jump, jump. Okay? Jump, jump, that's wheel. Then jump, press four, press right, jump, press right again. And this is the hard one. I kind of like set up myself over here and I fail it more often than not. But it's like, it's kind of like pretty easy. It's kind of like an extended jump over here and you just have to jump at the very edge. And that's your wheel skip. Take a safe book here just in case. Get the chest here, there is a card. And like jump here, jump here under an angle so you get this ledge grab with Harry putting his leg on top of the ledge. Go and boost as many times as you can until you see that you're kind of like in this area. Hit the pendo, hit Lumos. Over here. Do this bridge skip, so you open this secret. Enter exit this secret too. And I'm pretty sure, yes, 7 out of 7 secrets. That's, that's pretty much your bicorn done this way. You get the bicorn, and you split. And now it's dual, so I'm gonna quickly explain explain what you do when you do those. So first you go to this chest and you get the card. And then this is another secret. You press left while in the cutscene. Well it didn't fucking work for I'm in the potion anyway. classroom. Better keep an eye out for snake. Bang. Another secret. And there is another card. And you, there is a hedge here as well for the silver cards. So you jump, double input forwards, and you hit the card at this angle, and you slide forward. And whoop! Not only you got the card, but you actually went forward. And double inputs right here. Enter, ent enter, exit this secret. This one here. Proceed further to Malfoy. I completely ignore whatever here. Quickly get this secret here too. Why not? And duels. This is not duels. This is just Malfoy. So now you're just gonna kill Malfoy real quick. Or real slow. Or super fucking slow. Doesn't matter. Just kill Malfoy as fast as you can. Start going towards the Defendo spell challenge. But instead, go here. And go back to do your duels. Because this is where all your money is going to be coming from. I'm not gonna do all the duels, I'm just gonna show you how you have to do it. You will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, guys, yeah? This is the leaderboard. Peter is number 1, and you need to fucking kick the shit out of Peter, yeah? 
twice. So that's the last guy, and you actually kill, uh, you duel him twice, so you get like around 1,000 beams. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much that's it. You get around 1,900, 900, 1,000 beams. Good. Anyway, until you get to Peter, you have to actually duel a lot. So I guess I'll just do every duel. Should I really do every Yeah, okay, I'll do every duel. Anyway, this is a full tutorial. So, this first guy, you don't have to duel tech him, but you, will so you just duel him normally. Of your own team. And you fucking... Wow, oh, you get raped by him as well. Anyway. So you get raped by the first guy, as quick as possible. You go to the second, okay, and this is where dual tech is. Alright, so I'm gonna quickly explain dual tech. Alright. Right now I'm on Expelliarmus, yeah? I'm on Expelliarmus. And I start casting Expelliarmus. And at the time I start casting Expelliarmus, I pause. And then unpause and go back to Recruit Sempra and start spamming. And look at what fucking happens. So let me quickly explain this again. I'm on expel the armors. I start casting, pause, unpause, go back to Rick to Sempra, start ca casting spells like fuck. Dual tech. And that's for every single one of them. For all of them. Not much to explain. It's kind of RNG. Boom. Straightforward. Anyway, I'm not gonna explain every single duel. Have fun actually finding out that one on your own. Doesn't even fucking matter. You get around 1000 beans, then you go to the Hindo. You've done all the duels as well, that's a requirement. Uh, if you're concerned about beans, you can cast on this. Oh wait, sorry. We are on Defindo now. Anyway, we are on Defindo now. And Defendo this. So you open this secret right here. And you get the card. Start getting your beans. I don't have any beans because I don't do all the obvious all the deal. A lot more this chest. Boom boom boom. Go and do your defendo. I am gonna completely not now do the arrows right now because it's I can't the symbol in front of you. See the pointer? It's about to move it around the shape. When the pointer passes directly over the arrow, press the corresponding arrow key. This exercise is in three parts. In each part, you must be accurate in order to progress. Ready to try? Round one. Go. So you do your shitty arrows. And pray to God that everything is fine. Keep trying. Or you don't do the arrows. Up to you. As I said, it's really up to you. Keep trying. Once again, All right, Mr. Potter, I think you've done enough for today. Just keep here. Hello. You can either defend though this, not really necessary, or you can be really cool and start doing parkour stuff, but not like this. Obviously, you just gotta go like here, bam. Fuck's sake, really? There. You go here. 
here, you hit this. You unlock the secret real quick. This wouldn't be here, even. Flipendo this, flipendo this. Flipendo that, flipendo that. Get your card here. And the secret. Sorry. And here comes the first out of three amazing brightness boosts. That's where you go out of bounds. And this is again one of these spammable ones where you spam left, right, left, right on the arrows. On your arrows on your keyboard. And then you press like forward after that. So you jump off this. Don't get this ledge grab. No, that's the wrong one. So you kind of you kind of jump off this, get this ledge grab, spam as much as you want, and press forward to land over here. You're out of bounds. Go like this. You're gonna lose some HP, that's normal, don't worry. First of all, what you skip here is you skip fucking entire section of talking and stuff on the skippable cutscene. Second, it's much faster. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Now you go over here, you try not to trigger this door. So, for your convenience, you might call the doxy, you might not. And get this card here real quick. Go back here. You've taken the card. And this is your second big brightness boost. But first of all, you go all the way down here, get the secret, press forward and jump. So you get the slash grab and keep brightness boosting until somewhere around here. Or like if you're like star, I see that you're around here. Your brightness boost somewhere around here, yeah. So you get out of bounds again. And there's two ways to actually get. On this you either can drop on this rope and do the entire swingy thing or if you see this shitty line here you can go forward go forwards toward this and drop on that web so you cancel the damage and uh, you get over here then you Lumos You don't hit the rope here yet. You go all the way. You get the secret. The window. Turn around. Get the secret. Hit the chest. Hit this shit. Pick up your card. Start going back towards that Luno statue. Hit that, so you open this secret here. Get the secret, get the card. Bang. And go back back on, on this. And this is your third brightness boost. For your convenience, if you fail the brightness boost, you can open this real quick. And now you're not on this ledge grab, sorry. Right, so you kind of go right here. In this angle, you ledge grab like this, and brightness boost. No, that was that was shit. That was a shitty brightness boost. Basically, you need to get out of bounds, but you need to get the proper brightness boost. Give me a sec, quick sec. Right, bank, bank. Fucking spam the brightness. You're out of bounds, you turn towards these two towers and that that tower. Get over here. Enter this secret. Get the card here too. It's a silver card.
Go and exit the secret. Uh, these out of bounds skip large portions of the game. And here you. Yeah, that's what you need to do. Kill those two, or you, you don't really have to. The snail is gonna go towards that himself, but I fucked up as usual. Come on, man. Anyway, he has to drop on this fucking. Come on, man. Are you fucking serious, man? There, that's what you want. Then you have to go over here. Um, get this nail on this one. Skip the shit out of everything. Jump here, so you can jump here and get a secret. There is a secret. That's an actual secret here. You go through this bit here. Bang, bang. Nothing too crazy, obviously. Just proceed with the challenge as if nothing happened. Aloha Mortis. Purge the fuck out of this. Pick up your card. Quick brightness boost here to skip all the ledge grabs and stuff. Boom, boom, boom. That's your next secret. And another card. Come on, Harry, pick up. Okay, proceed to go down further this way. Lose the fuck out of this statue. Make this snail hate his life as much as possible. Aloha, more of this. Continue going backwards. Rick to Sempra, Rick to Sempra, Rick to Sempra. Put these, put these two motherfuckers here. Go back to this snail. You get the secret and you get the card. So stay kind of like right here and you'll pick up the card. Boom. And proceed to the end of the challenge. Is Boomslang. Boomslang is very straightforward as well. You go all the way back here. Ah, uh, you pick up some of the beans if you want. If you're like getting low on beans and stuff, obviously. And you go towards this chest. And this is a hedge again, so kind of stay at this angle right here. Boom. You go towards this. Depend on the fuck out of this, depend on that. Secret card over here. You need to get a small edge crap like that and you start boosting like fucking crazy 
You get the wall walk here. Walk forward. Depend on this. Enter. Actually enter this part here. And then hit the Lumos. Hit those two fuckers. Go back over here. Enter the secrets. Get the cart. Go back over here now. Try not to fall down. Get the ledge grab and boost. And I... Yeah, when I said boost, I didn't mean it like that. So you boost, but... So you try to boost on top of this, basically. Uh, you try to boost on top of this. Quickly jump on that part here. Aloha more the shit. Enter, exit the secret. Extend the jump here. Get the card. Boom slime. Next is Goyle. Again, pretty straightforward. Um. Alright, you go to Bean Bonus, or well, to Ceremony, first. You go up the stairs. Hit that chest, might as well. That's how you proceed. Depend on this bitch, real quick. While you're running towards uh royal part. And here you're not skipping Dumbledore cutscene, you're actually not gonna skip Dumbledore cutscene. That you actually go straight to Dumbledore cutscene. Oh, no. Gonna watch not all the fucking cutscenes. Mr. Potter? What's happened to you? Don't know. You're gonna go to Dumbledore's Don't office, know. get the two cards there, get the secret there, follow me, Ethan. leave. And this always is the split of Goyle, actually. Professor, I swear I didn't. This is out of my hands, Potter. Uh, look, this is out of her hands, Potter. Through this door, please, Potter. Boom. Again, pretty straightforward. You're in Dumbledore's office now. This must be Professor Dumbledore. You go to the Phoenix, then you go and unlock this chest. You hit the flipendo here to get into this elevator because that's a secret. Boom, boom. You get your cart and. Honestly, if you're not confident, you can be fast enough, but you kind of try to get on t on top of the hat. So you actually get the cutscene. Well, I didn't even get it, but whatever. Anyway, you kind of just jump here so you cancel the damage. And then you get the hat cutscene. Good evening, Harry. Professor! Your bird! I couldn't do anything! He just caught fire! That's everything about Dumbledore himself. Phoenixes burst into Not much. There. It's time for them to die. You watch the cutscenes, hate your life that you can't fucking skip them. Fascinating creatures, And uh, after you stop hating your life and you gain control of Harry again, you just continue running. And they make highly faithful pets. Professor, I just want you to know that it wasn't me. I'm not the attacker. I know you're not, but I still want to talk to you. I must ask you, Harry, whether there is anything you'd like to tell me. Being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. Anything at all? Not anything at all? Anything at all. Very well, if you're sure. Good night, Harry. Night, Professor. And now you start gaining control of Harry again. There you are. You need to go to And our tutorial Hermione. continues. Hermione's waiting for you. 
So what you do here is before you have to go to Lockhart's room first. So, Alahamora, Alahamora. Oops. Uh, jump on that, Alahamora, to get the card. Never mind. Boom. Enter exit this secret. Enter exit this secret. You got the you got the sound. Hate yourself for the game for the developers pushing another retarded unskippable cutscene. Hit both fucking things again. Follow Ron. Hate him too for being low bitch. Get the trigger. And now we're start to start to enter Goyle. Run, 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 run. Quite straightforward. You have some nice beans here to collect. Get that, unlock, Lumos, Courage. I said Lumos, Courage, so yes. Thank you. To so get the secret and the card. Here. Hit that chest real quick. Get the cart. Go like this. I didn't mean to fail that, but apparently I did. So, practice to actually get the fucking jump here. Unlike me. Hit the Lumos. Boom. Secret card. Well, yeah, I got a save book anyway. Bam! Get up here to get the secret and then go back to this room. Then go back into here. Uh, get the ledge grab. Brightness boost. Brightness boost over here. Wow, I didn't get hit by that. Lumos. Enter. Exit secret. Take ridiculous amount of fall damage. Get raped by snails. Show these crabs who's boss. Show the snails who's boss too. Towards the library part. Take the safe book just in case. Bank. Kill this bitch. Unlock the unlock the secret. Enter exit the secret. Try to get the wall walk here. Like I did. Unlock this part. You can do it with a different way, but... Get them all on red. Fucking hate your life. Get the card here too, and the secret.
proceed forward. Lumos. That Lumos opens this secret. Get a safe book. Lumos. Lumos, just in case. And I'm gonna sh tell you why. Because what you're gonna do now is I hope I just get the war walk straight away. But if I don't, anyway, it doesn't matter. What I'm gonna do now is first of all, I try to get the war walk. But this part. Real quick. Wow, I got stuck. Anyway, it's let's say you got the wall walk. You want to enter this secret. When you get the wall walk, and you need to have your Lumos up, and when you actually get over here, you will uh, you will actually reveal the secret from behind that wall. Instead of just having to go all over here and reveal the secret, etc. You know. Uh, the usual shit. Anyway, like, I really suck, so... I'm gonna show you somehow, like... Uh, it didn't really happen, but... Basically, what is happening is... Let's say I have Lumos, yeah? And I've done the wall walk and everything. I got the secret. That secret is revealed already. I don't know how the game, why the game works like that. I don't know, but that's basically what it is. I am not gonna show you exactly with the wall walk. Okay, I can actually show you with the wall walk, but fuck it. I'm gonna try to get it. I didn't get it anyway, so might as well. Basically, what you're doing is try to. Basically, what you're trying to do is not fail. That's the first thing, obviously. So, boom. You are over here, you still have your Lumos, you get the wall walk, you get the secret, you hear you hear for the sound basically. Then you go over here. You go over here like that. You boost up. Maybe not that, just that much, but You hit the rope, you hit that rope. Kill these motherfuckers real quick. There is another hedge, so boom. Try to get stuck on this shit here. And when you actually start exiting the secret, you're gonna reveal it. Boom, you revealed every single secret in this level. Bank. And Goyle is done. Nothing too crazy. And now it's Slytherin. Hit this shit once again. Cutscene, 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 cutscene. Hit this, so you actually get the card out, because that's for later. Route. Aloha more this secret. Get the secret, please. This is a card. Bronze card, nothing crazy. You collect your shitty beans here, and then you get the wall walk. So, up, 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 up. Wall walk. Easy. I'm not gonna explain that freaking. I'm not gonna explain that. Explain that wall walk because first of all, it's super easy. Second, if you really want to know what the fuck that wall walk is, unlike there are like 
20 videos for that. But yeah, your route is you actually go t to towards uh, ceremony because you need to get this secret here. And there is a car here as well. But you get this this this, this secret on your way to Slytherin. It's nothing too crazy. Then you go right here. That's how you get to Slytherin's common room. Pure blood. What's the password? The car can use that to get into the Slytherin common room. Hurt. We must. Defendo? Yes, please, Defendo. Enter the secret, get the card. Quick boost over here, because orgasmic stuff and shit. A little bit faster anyway. Just a little bit really. Jump on that arrow. Defendo, defendo. Defendo, defendo. Back over here. Boom, on this arrow now. And bam. You can either do old bridge skip right now, or do the other bridge skip afterwards. If you really want to do bridge skip, or you might not even do bridge skip. But yeah, you go here. The way you unlock this obviously is by what I just did before that, uh, pushing this block. And this allows you to go like this, get the card here. Then I take the save book because I'm fucking pretty, and I do bridge skip. Uh, or I don't do bridge skip because I'm fucking shit at this. What the fuck? What? Come on, man. What the f? Okay, I've been kind of consistently failing this. Anyway, yeah, you get bridge skip like that. If you want to, if you don't want to, you don't get it. You just do it the normal way. It's up to you. You Lumos here. You get here. Boom. Exit. And there we go. Anyway, let's say that we actually Got it. Lumos once more. You got the secret there anyway, so uh, that's, that's what matters. You go over here just so you unlock the fucking. So this uh, Lumos is unlocked. You go like this. Go like this now. Bang. There is a cart over here. That's a hedge as well. Bang. You can either go like this or you can go like this. A little bit it's a little bit riskier, but whatever. But it's faster. Just a little bit faster. And you enter Slytherin's common room, and you hate your life for the for the rest of this split because shit can go kind of wrong here. You go towards this fountain first. 
That takes way too fucking long to open. You open the chest, you get the cart, you got the secret as well, no worries. Quickly hit those two flags. That's for later. Where are Draco and Crab? Fuck this guy. Get over here. Start strafing right, because you have to go to actually the boys' dormitory. No matter what, it's actually something you have to do. Fuck! Don't get stuck here. Go all the way up here. Reveal the secret. Don't have to do anything else. Just reveal the secret. Go back here. Go and look at Malfoy, how what fucking shit he looks. I don't want you hang oh, don't no, actually do that. Just waste time this way. Now go and reveal the secret, pick up the card real quick. Okay. Thank. Pray that there is no one here. Something's not right. Defend all this shit. Pray that no one fucking saw you. Stay over here, get the actual card. Alahamor is shit. Continue through here to actually reveal the secret like you already did just now. Continue on, and that's Slytherin then. And now it's Spongify. Spongify is pretty straightforward, you he hit this, open up this, get the beans, get the cart real quick. That This way you get a secret as well, don't worry. Spongify is fucking sh terrible. Uh, you gotta kind of like, you boost up. To Lockhart once again, or you burst way too much actually. Okay, nobody cares. There you go. You do your shitty spell learning, or you don't do it, up to you. Concentrate. Nobody cares. Don't let my good looks distract you. The wand that appears in front of you is going to move around the shape. When the wand is positioned perfectly over the arrow, press the corresponding arrow key to hit the target. There are three parts to this exercise. In each part, you must correctly and accurately hit all of the points in order to go forward. Round one, begin! And here is one thing that I'm actually not very good at doing. There is a strat. I don't know. Actually, I haven't learned it, but... I'll try to explain it. Try it again. Do the spell learning, please. Oh, this split though. Try it again, chap! My Spongify is not very good, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Once again, eh? I'm not very good at getting the strat itself as well. Harry, time to move along. So, what we do here is first get these two fuckers into the into their pits. <laughs> uh, 
Oh yeah. And and pray that you not don't get again a soft lock. Basically, what you can do actually with the gnomes is you kind of just flipendo them into the pits because it's a little bit faster. But I, for some reason, always soft lock there, which is. Something that I'm so scared of that I don't even do it anymore. Anyway, when you get the two gnomes in here, it's all, it opens up this bit. So, you lumos that. And then you flipendo. Uh, flipendo, sorry, spongify. Boost yourself forward to this. Unlock this. Unlock this chest too, get the cards. Oops. And now this is where the strat is that I have no idea how to do. I'm just not very good at the next bit. But what we have to do is, I'm gonna save here. And... I'll Lumos once, twice, not that I actually need to. Get a ledge grab here and brightness boost all the way to this. Spongify, and then I need to spongify my way over here. How am I going? Wait, how I how do I do that stuff, dude? Oh, never mind, I guess. Quick. Anyway, why am I doing this? Is because okay, so I need the limos here, real quick. Whoa, what the what what's just happening? Anyway. Sponge if I hear. Come on. Oh Jesus. Nope, not like this. Not like this, man. Okay, let's. I'm, I'm just gonna show it the way I do it. Basically, what I do is. Uh... Alright, I'm already here anyway. So. Through this part. Get on this platform. Miss, obviously, the cycle. There is a secret here, get the secret. My Spongify is not very good, but I'm trying to give you the basic tutorial, honestly, for that. I need to really practice my Spongify. But, the point is, if I manage to get the secret, uh, and still had my Lumos spell here, I don't have to go through actually uh, killing all these no, all, all these guys, I would just be able to actually reveal the secret here. But I just don't know how to get the walk proper. Anyway, so you kill these guys. Real quick. Or real flow, like I in my case, most of the time. You reveal the Lumo statue here. Try to cast. Try not to ledge grab, please, as well. Reveal the secret. Uh, get your card. It's a bronze card. And then what you do is boom, ledge grab. And boost yourself all the way up here. Bank. Go towards this. Fall all the way down. Another ledge grab. I didn't mean to do it like this. That was bad. Okay, boost yourself as much as possible so you get on this platform and it starts going down. Fall down here. Try not to take damage like I did. Kill these crabs. Kill the crabs, I mean. 
which will allow you to reveal the secret here. Don't ledge grab that either, please. Okay, there we go. Bank. Then you get into this secret. You flip endo. That picture. There is a secret and a card. Whoops. There is a faster way, like you can spongify, I guess, like over there, but I don't know how to do it. How do I spongify here? How do I make myself spongify, like. Anyway. What I do is I usually just spongify up there, but whatever. Uh, I I'll, I'll guess I'll practice after that. It's slower, but then you unlock this secret. Don't go all the way down. I don't get killed by this. Go like this. Uh, reveal the secret, though. Whoop. Then. You, you know what you're doing here. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. That wasn't it. Wait. I nearly messed up. What happened with the gnome over here? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay. Something happened with the gnome. Anyway, if you there, there should be a gnome and a nymph. You put them in each hole, and this part over here unlocks. And there is a secret here. Hello? Like this, okay. There is a secret here, but obviously something happened. Something happened to my gnome. Poor gnome. Uh, then you go back up. Actually, I think this is slower this way, but whatever. And you spongify yourself over here. I don't know, this spongify tutorial is, is definitely not very good. At least this split is not very good. But as I said, this is one of my worst splits in the game. And here you have to actually hit Hedwig, like, hit Alohomora on Hedwig. So... Like, I usually do it like over there. Uh, then you get onto that pillar. And when you hit a Lahomora, you try to get over here. On this platform, get the secret. Boom. Boom. Bang. It's not very good the way I do it, but whatever. There is a cart here. I guess maybe there is a way to boost. Matter though. And now you get over in this room. And put yourself over here. Hit the two flipendos. Let the platform go up. And this is your next secret. Hit the next secret. Quickly get the Lumos statue. As fast as possible if you can. Deal with deal with the thingies. Deal with the doxies. Enter exit the secret I just did. And whoa. This is a secret as well, so hit the Nintendo here. You can boost like this. Bank back here. Take the save book because there is a possibility for you to die. And then what I do, I do it a little bit different. I just think this is a little bit safer. I hit flipendo, so you hit this flipendo, then you hit this spongify. You get over here. I get the grab, I get the secret, then I fall here, 
and I hit this chest to uh, get the card and the secret at the same time. Kill the web, kill the spider if you really want to. It's not necessary. And that's your sponge fight done. And now it's secrets. Um, pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure. Okay, yeah, very much that. Yeah, now it's secrets. So now secrets. This split is just all the secrets that's pretty much left. You first of all, you have to go to ceremony. That's very important. I actually keep forgetting doing that for some reason. And then you go like this and you get the secret real quick. Oh, you don't actually have to enter it, but I entered it because reasons. I'm gonna hit the witch once again. Get this card, and this is again one of these weird hedge, whatever, I think that's how it was called, things. So that's one of the... So now you have 30 wizard cards. Um, oh, I, I, I forgot to actually open this chest before. I could have opened this chest and had this card ready for me, but whatever. Then, uh, you jump up and you get this card over here and then you try to make your way. Sorry. So, okay, so what you do is you jump up, you get the card, and then you navigate yourself while in midair on top of there. Which you try with something like that, but you actually have to get the card first. Then I'll have more of this, Courage. Defendo, please. Uh, Alhamora, real quick. This as well. You're in the hospital link. Defendo, Lipendo. Defendo, Lipendo. You enter the secret, you get the card here too. You go further into the hospital link. Uh, you get the Luno statue here. You Alhamora this chest. Jump on this platform. Bank. Aloha more this chest. Spongify. Get the secret and Aloha more here too. Bank. And now press yourself as much forward as I can. Try to get the and at the same time kinda of try to fall on the on the bronze cart that's on the spongify tile. And jump off the tile and then just press forward so you kind of just land over here it just saves a little bit of time not that much but it does save it and don't forget that card i i, I used to do that Oops. get your card and there is now is the secret that i kind of forget as well quickly enter exit this secret spongify your way all the way here. Wait to get the card. Silver card. Boom. Boom. And now you're gonna go into an unskippable. I don't know if you count that as a cutscene though. Is that a cutscene? It's a level. It's counted as a level in the game, because it's not a cutscene, but it is kind of like a cutscene. Again, now I'm gonna get... After getting this card, I'm gonna get 5 bars of health. So again, you position yourself like here. You don't really need to set up yourself. And take the card. And you walk right into the cutscene. Well, slide kind of right into the cutscene. And then you can do whatever you can do whatever you want. Come this on. is unskippable. Gotta get you out of here. Come on now. In the box. It's you have to go through this level. I out. don't know why they didn't just make it as a cutscene. Evening, Instead, they made it as a level. For me, this is a little bit weird. But I guess it makes sense because Harry is actually well. You pretty much actually do take control of Harry here. 
The least Hogwarts can this is a me since this is a memory and you can actually walk freely if you wanted to in the memory. I mean, in the books it was never explained if you actually can walk freely wherever you want in the memory. Oh, I guess they just went kind of with it. Um, and now you're in Gryffindor common room. Hit the chest real quick. Hit this flipendos. Uh, square over there. Go upstairs. Uh, hit this defendo. Drop down. Reveal the secret here and get the card. That's right under the, This is right under the stairs. Uh, yeah. Oops. Oh, what? Okay. Um, proceed forward. This is your next card. Jump over here. Saves a little bit of time of actually going, then actually going down the stairs. One more secret. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, one. There's one more secret over here. Wait. Oh yeah, that's uh, that secret over there is the last secret you're getting. Because that's actually counted as a secret, and there is an actual card as well. But that's the very last card in the game you actually get. Doesn't matter. And... whoops. Now we get over here. Boom. Secret card. There is a secret here too. You get over here. Bang. Proceed further down here. And Alohomora, Defindo, Lumos, Alohomora. To get the card. The Lumos is for a different part. The Lumos is for right over there. Right here you get the Lumos. You get the Alohomora here. And then jump on this panel because that will open this part there. And that's another, that's your last card in this area that you get. You get your card over here, real quick. Proceed over, all the way over there. You obviously have better movement than me right now. Cancel your full damage. If you just drop down, you're gonna actually. Get full damage from that. And proceed proceed to follow around real quick. Now go backwards while in the cutscene. Okay. You can go like through here or you can just go around like this and hit the chest. I don't think I'd save that much time if I go through here because I just get stuck anyway. What? How did I do that? Anyway, uh, you get the cart over here, doesn't matter. Proceed to go over here, like this. Get some beans. You would already have like 1200 at this point because you've done duels. And that's your secrets done. And next is Aragog. And forest. So Lumos the statue. Quickly get over here. Bank. Dependo this bit. You get the secret and a card over here. Jesus, I nearly fell down. Wolf. Spongify. Bank. Uh, I'm not very good, but yeah, whatever. Oh, I got stuck here. Well, try not to get stuck. You can like just boost up here if you really want to. Uh, I kind of take the I take the safe book here by from. I don't know, it's a bad habit, I guess, more or less. 
And then what you do is quickly jump on that spongify tile and navigate yourself here. Then spongify this. Uh, if you're fast enough, there won't. Uh, these pick, uh, these doxies are not going to be here. Take the card though. Pretty quickly jump on the spongefile tile again. Navigate yourself back down here. And you have to actually kill all the spiders. So you kill this spider. Kill this spider. Bang. You get this ledge grab. Pause. Boost yourself five, six times. Real quick. Bang. Kill this spider too. Open this chest. And this is and this is your last silver card in the game. So again, you position yourself, jump like this. And this is a hedge? I think that's how it was called, yeah? And while you're sliding you're actually doing like going up. And you're actually doing the ledge traps and stuff. Anyway, I'm not explaining very well. Right, here boom you go over here because this is a secret that's really easy to miss and forget but there is an actual secret here that one no cards or anything it's just a secret nothing else this is not that much faster but actually I'm thinking no that's the end of the level huh that's like interesting anyway like if you don't want to do all the ledge grabs you kind of just can boost yourself here it's pretty useless though in my opinion really doesn't save any time. Try not to get messed up by these guys. Uh, hit this, hit this, hit this real quick. Again, the uh, long ledge grab. Boost yourself a few times. Uh, get your card. Trigger this thing falling down, but turn around because there is a secret. That's your last secret in this level and your last card in this level. So get that real quick. Defender, and now you're gonna prepare for Aragog's terrible soundscape. Uh, you can double cast at the webs. makes it fall down faster. You fight Aragog. Nothing too crazy. Try not to get killed by him, obviously. I mean, I'm using cheats right now, so it doesn't matter. That's actually slower to just stay in the same spot. And this is your Aragog done. Nothing quite crazy. And next is gold cards. Gold cards. Gold cards is cool, but first thing first in gold cards, please. Uh, go here. Go uh, follow Ron. Right where you spawn. And then obviously go to the gold cards, which are here. And enter this secret real quick. This is the last secret. 10 out of 10 in this level. The scared staircases. Go towards your gold cards. And now I'm gonna show you how to do this. You don't need to get all secrets and stuff in this, because I don't think there is actually secrets in this level. Are there any secrets in this level? I think you just need to get all the gold cards, that's it. Yeah, you just get the gold cards, that's it. Your timer starts timing. Uh, your timer starts timing. What? Okay, that's your first gold card. Now, bam. While you're like, right here, you... 
Go pause. Brighten brightness menu. F1. And that's it. Uh, no, that's not really that fast, is it? Not very fast, but you get the cart. You get this. You get this. And then you get over here, like this, real quick. You get your cart. You hit the Thindo here. Let's grab. Boost real quick. Get your cart. Again. Get your cart. There too. Uh, you can boost if you want. I don't think it matters over here, but whatever, it doesn't matter. In my opinion, it doesn't matter really. If you boost or not, it saves like maybe a second max. And then you hit Lumos here. And you do also, you do a few very these jumps are very simple honestly. Just do a few jumps. Nothing crazy. You get all the way down here. Uh then you hit this. Oh, you get this, you you get a better ledge grab than this, because that wasn't the right one. Oh wait, I actually got it. Okay, never mind, I guess. Oh. Anyway, this ledge grab works too. You boost yourself over there, and then you go pick up the cart. You hit this, Defendo, so you extend to the Spongify file. You grab the card real quick. You hit this. This uh, flipendo block. Whoops. Now, uh, actually, sorry. Before I do anything. So, you have a card here, and then you need to go up there. All you need to do is actually just hit this once. And then you have two different boosts. So, the first boost is this ledge grab. Over here, you boost, you turn, you get the cart, turn, fall down. And then your next ledge graph is like this. Nothing too crazy. You actually can do it a little bit better than that. And you proceed further. Honestly, nothing crazy. And here is just Spongify. Right now you have 10 gold cards out of 11, and now you have 11 gold cards. All of your gold cards are here. And... gold cards are done. And now you have a chamber. Now you do chamber. You actually start doing the cool stuff. In this game, start... You think you're ending the game, but you're not really. Because there is still stuff to do. And chamber is not nothing too special as well. Um. Right. So you scourge this. You get the Luma statue. You get this. You would like jump over there, over there. Scourge here as well, and enter the secret real quick. And then you control yourself so I actually fall down here. And there is one thing that I can't do at all. I'll try to do it, but I'm not gonna be able to. I died. Basically, you can skip the cycle, but I, I just skip a cycle for a few very nasty doors. But I, I not very. I I can't get the cycle skip for some reason. 
these doors. You can skip it, but it's not that big of a deal, honestly. And now all you have to do is just watch this cutscene. Flip end of this. Go all the way here. Spongify. Nothing too crazy. Defendo. Real quick. Wait over here. Go behind the walls. And get your secret. And then you proceed over here. And you pray to get the next trick as fast as possible. And now you need a specific ledge grab for this part here. So, this. so like this, I, I think that's not good enough. But, okay, never mind. That was good enough. So you get a ledge grab like over there, but it's like a long ledge grab. Um, you also defend all this. And you go all the way up here. So basically you boost all the way up here. Hit the flipendo here. Enter, exit the secret. Fungify. Go. Proceed further. And now comes another cool part. So there is this one brightness boost. You have to be right... Jeez, okay, please, please, hedge, please, crap, be nice to me. You have to be on the very edge, like, right next to this wall, right next to this wall, otherwise you're gonna soft lock. So, you do this, and you boost. You boost like four, five, six times, and you proceed to go left from here. Whoops. Well, you... Okay, you don't really do that. You can just do it differently. And now all you need to do is just put these two guys in their proper place, which is in this pit. They are actually... Nothing happens. You reveal the secret, you get the Lumos. You need to get the Lumos, actually. Here. And... Fall down. And now you get onto this wall. And again you boost. And again, crazy amounts of boost. And again, and you do this, and now you get the secret. You don't have to get this this secret because apparently it doesn't it just doesn't do anything. Even if it counts this place as two secrets, it does not actually count it in game for some reason. And there is two ways to get that card and the secret. The first one, which is the hard part. Please. Alright. You try to boost as much as possible. I guess I guess that wasn't actually that hard. Okay, so you boost over here, <laughs> you get the cart. <laughs> that was not hard as I thought. Um Whoops. This is the end of the game. There you go. You wait. Split is done. And now it's Basilisk. Chamber is done. Do anything crazy here. You fight the Basilisk. I am just but I'm really bad actually at fighting the Basilisk, I'm not I'm gonna lie. 
I'm ridiculously bad at fighting this beast. I can't free cycle this beast at all. I'm very sloppy. I think I just get hit all way too much. Your battle is done. And uh, we come to the end of the game pretty much. So this is Basil is done. And now you get the very very last secret and the very last card. Which is the 50th card from the 50th and the last bronze card in the game. And this is gonna give you the sliding sink again, so you wanna slide over there because you actually don't go and finish the game yet. You have to slide all the way over there. And I said you have to slide all the way over there, but apparently I'm not very good at sliding. There we go. You quickly slide into the, into the door. And what you're gonna do now, before you actually can say that you've done, that you're done, is first of all, you need to have 1,200 beans, hey, which Harry, I don't, want to trade? because we I didn't do all deals. Hey, Harry, to want to trade? We buy in bulk. And buy. Uh, to you. Hey, Harry, want what do you have? I have Quidditch armor. To buy Quidditch like armor? Which costs 500 beans? The customer is always right, even Obviously you press yes this. because you have enough beans. And to buy Nimbus 2001, which is a requirement. Which costs 700 beans. 700 plus 500 makes 1200 straight away. Exactly. Here you press yes, of course. You pick up both things, you have them, and you proceed to do every single Quidditch match. Every single one, two, three, four, five, six. All of them you have to actually, all of them you have to do and win. And only after that, after you actually win the house, the Quidditch Cup and all the matches, the way to the Quidditch pitch. you can go back. And actually finish the game. I'm not gonna show you how to beat in Quidditch. Because if you can't beat, if you can't win in an auto scroller, then I don't know. Like, ah, doesn't matter. Just, but losing in an auto scroller is really hard. Trust me. Um, and then you just go and finish the game, and that's it. Nothing, nothing crazy. Attention, please, students. So yes, that's the tutorial. The the minute you enter. The great hall for the last for the first and for the last time. Isn't too late to lose house points. Is where you when you split this and you have your PB. So thank you guys for watching. This took really long time to to actually uh, film and uh, I, but I am really happy I managed to do this. This is the route. I should think so. Pretty all with it's, it's all about really just being fast this route and it's not it's really not that casual as people may think so yeah thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoy running HP 200 100% speed anyway now back to actually my real run. Now back to the